The Chiefs won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. This is going to connect to the party of the current commander-in-chief winning back-to-back -back elections. Kamala Harris will accept her nomination 193 days after the Super Bowl, which was held at the stadium of the Las Vegas Raiders. Notice how there is a total of 47 points scored in the Super Bowl. This, it, uh, this was going to connect to the 47th president of the United States, but very little did you know back at that point in time in February that this was going to connect to the 47th president of the United States being a Democrat. Uh, the 47th president in the United States of America. 47, as we talked about, remember Lisa Simpson was the first uh, female president. Um, well, she became president in the Simpsons, and that's why Kamala Harris is going to be the 47th president of the United States. So the Chiefs scored 25 points. The winner scored 25 points. It's Biden, that's 25. The current president right now. Both teams have 22 points entering overtime. 22 is the birthplace of Kamala Harris. She was born at Oakland, and Oakland is also Gamatria of Super Bowl 58, and the Raiders, they originated from Oakland. Mahomes, he won the Super Bowl with this 46th passing attempt of the game. Kamala Harris is going to be the 46th person to become the president of this country. The amount of time from the Super Bowl to Kamala Harris's birthday would mark 36 weeks, and she can be the second black president in American history to Barack Obama. And it's also MLK that's Kamala 36. So these are the things to know. The dropout day of Joe Biden from the Super Bowl to Ice Cream National Ice Cream Day on July the 21st would be 23 weeks after the Super Bowl at Las Vegas. Las Vegas is Camacho 23, so there definitely is a connection to that day. What about the amount of time from the Super Bowl to the day that the Electoral College is going to elect Kamala Harris? Well, that'd be 10 months and 6 days, and 106 is basically the birthplace of Kamala Harris when you type it out in its entirety. Oakland, California has come out to 106. In 10 months and 6 days after the Super Bowl, Kamala Harris uh, is elected by the Electoral College 44 weeks later. And, uh, Harris is come out to 44 in the reverse. Notice how Harris is come out to 89. The amount of time from the Super Bowl to the election, if I'm not mistaken, or rather uh, Kamala Harris's birthday in October, is eight months and nine days after the Super Bowl. So these are the things that we have to note as far as the Super Bowl goes. Also 25 points in the second half. Biden is Gamache 25. Just for the heck of it, Trump is Gamacho 25 and Biden's 25. Trump in the reverse. It's trying to become the 47th president, but that cannot happen because the 46th person to be president would be nominated over at the city of Chicago. So Trump is a lock to lose. There's going to be a theme with the 49ers because this is where Kamala Harris is born. That She's born at San Francisco, but she represents the current party in power, which is the Kansas City Chiefs. Whereas San Francisco will lose, though, which is okay. Because San Francisco's in the Super Bowl, but then Kamala Harris is from San Francisco and, and would be the next president. So... Just because the Niners are San Francisco, it doesn't mean they represent Kamala. The Chiefs is the current commander-in-chief. The back-to-back -back represents the two consecutive wins in the election. In Kansas City and San Francisco, both have Gamatria of 122.
49ers is 55 and 28, which is the Gamache of Joseph, which is the Gamache of the Crown of the first female president. Niners is also Gamache of Joe Biden. I think Biden by itself is uh, 34, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. What about the total stats for both teams in the Super Bowl? Of course, the 49ers fell to 5-3 and three in the Super Bowl. That's how you break down Kamala Devi Harris. The Niners fell to 5-3 and three in the Super Bowl because the, the Chiefs, the current commander-in-chief, is still the party in power in the executive branch. Harris won his 53, the first state that Harris and Waltz went to after Waltz was picked as vice president was Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's 53. And of course, the passing of the torch. Tom Brady to Patrick Mahomes. Joe Biden to Kamala Harris. The Niners got a 5-3 and three in the Super Bowl. This is, is, is what makes sense about it. Plus, the 49ers came from the Bay Area. Bay Area is 53. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden were elected during COVID. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl thanks to a comeback. The Chiefs made a comeback against the Niners. The Democrats have made a comeback ever since Joe Biden left the race. Because people thought hey, Donald Trump is going to win because Biden was suffering from dementia. But what about Inauguration Day in 2025? From the time of the Super Bowl. For 49 weeks later, I know it's going to always be around 49 days, but Kamala Debbie Harris is 49 or by itself without the D is 49 she is the 49th vice president Kamala Harris is 86 and Timothy James Waltz is Gamachi 86 and he became the running mate on August the 6th is what we need to, to note with this What about uh, the city of the Super Bowl? Paradise, Nevada, Paradise is Gamache. Notice how Paradise, Nevada is 53. I, I, I told you, I told you the Niners were losing the Super Bowl. I told you, I told you. This is why. What is he, the fifth quarterback to win at least three Super Bowls? Patrick Mahomes, Paradise, Nevada is 53. This connects to the Niners record in the Super Bowl. The commander in chief's gonna win back to back elections, but right after he gets replaced. Paradise, Nevada is Gamachi of Harris, 73 and 37. Okay, what about Paradise, Nevada? Paradise, Nevada, Gamachi of the 46th person to become president, the 46th person to become president because there's only been one president who has served non-consecutive terms. And that was Glover Cleveland Alexander. 161 days after the Super Bowl Paradise, Nevada to the day that Biden dropped out. Paradise, Nevada in abbreviations is 161. City of Paradise is Gamachip Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson's 151, and I think it's Oakland, California. That's also Gamachip 151. 
I think it's 151 days after the nomination day to the election day. But anyway, I already did the video on that. You can see it. You can see it at the end. But the Super Bowl is absolutely going to connect to the election. That this the, the prior Super Bowl in the same year of the election, in 2024, is going to connect to the upcoming election. Wasn't this the Chiefs' 44th win in the playoffs? Did they, are their 24th win in the playoffs? It's a 2024 election. The 45th playoff game in the Super Bowl, they're gonna be four, uh, the Democrats are going to win four out of the last five elections after the 45th president, Donald Trump, loses this election. Is what this is about right here. Exactly what it's about right here. What, what playoff loss for the 49ers in, in the prior Super Bowl? Their 24th postseason loss. This is the 2024 election. Now, this was the first repeat since Super Bowl 39. When uh, the Patriots... They defeated the Eagles. Brock Purdy's from Arizona, but first repeat since Super Bowl 39. Kamala is Camacho 39. Donald Trump is, he was originally from New York. First repeat since Super Bowl 39. Kamala Harris winning, synced up with the Super Bowl, which saw the first repeat winner since Super Bowl 39. So this is rather significant Camacho. It's over. It's a wrap. Kamala Harris has won this election. The Super Bowl is going to have something to do with it. It was Patrick Mahomes' 15th playoff win. And notice how Biden's birthday is 15 days after the election. Mahomes, number 15, with his 15th playoff win to win the back-to-back. -back. Let's not ignore that. 